That was so long ago. Adele Mauricier was eight years old when she learned to stitch sweetgrass baskets. I didn't like to just sit and make baskets. And I let my older people know that. Basket weaving is a valued tradition in the Gullah community. Generation after generation of African women use sweet grass, bulrush, pine needle, and other natural materials to weave distinct designs. So you have to have something to draw people's attention. What makes Mauricier's stitching style unique is the fact that she's left-handed. Some people think that left-handed people are a step ahead of right-handed people. During the 17th century, slaves used sweet grass baskets as a farm tool to harvest rice fields and other crops. But after the Civil War, weavers entered the mainland and their way of life became a way to make a living. They established roadside stands along South Carolina's highways as a way to market their goods. It smells fresh. There are some basic baskets that just a flat basket with a handle. And then you have your unique baskets that has like the loops on them. The more complex the design, the higher the cost. Sweetgrass baskets range from under $100 all the way to thousands of dollars. Visitors to this year's annual Sweetgrass Festival saw a variety of styles, including this piece, which carried a whopping $10,000 price tag. And with the increasing popularity of handmade baskets comes the increasing concerns about outside threats to this tight-knit basket weaving community. Our major concern is what we call the knockoff baskets, baskets that are being overseas, made by machine. Gailyard Lee says unlike this traditional basket, knockoffs are made from synthetic materials and typically weigh less than handmade crafts. She says mass-produced products have a negative effect on the industry. You're losing something that takes you three days to make that somebody can make in maybe um, 10 minutes or so by putting it on a machine and it doesn't have the meaning to it that we have. In an effort to protect their value tradition, a group of basket weavers added trademark stickers to their craft. This symbol marks an authentic design. This is a part of our culture. This is a heritage that's been passed on from one generation to the other. Each sweet grass basket maker, you can see the love in their baskets. Sweet grass basket weavers hope to see their tradition recognized as a valuable part of American history. In Horry County, Bree Jackson, News 13 This Morning.